Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Creative Vixen. Um, thanks for stopping by. I know that it's been quite a while since my last upload. Um, expect that from me from time to time. Um, I don't always upload videos back to back as much as I would like to, but um, as I go along, hopefully I just, you know, can continue to catch on. Um, today I have for you guys, um, is a little haul, a little bit of everything. Like I have a little bit of a haul with, um, Dollar Tree, uh, Target, and, um, just like two or three things from Dollar Zone, like nothing big, just little things, you know, so I just, yeah, want to begin to show you guys. Um, some of you guys probably saw some of these things before, um, I honestly, um, just started seeing them and finally got my hands on them. So, yeah, I hope you guys, you know, like it. The first thing I wanted to begin showing is my Dollar Tree haul, actually. Um, I know that they have like a lot of these cute um, frames with um, sayings on it. Um, not everything. It's cute that they have with frames in Dollar Tree. Some things are, you know, everybody has different tastes. So, to my taste, things that I picked out that I saw was really nice. So, I actually got these three frames that says, Together is a great place to be. Which, this is something that I'll probably be putting in my bedroom. I thought it was really cute. Nice size. And then another one says, never let the thing you want make you forget the things you have. So true. A lot of us tend to forget sometimes. And this one says, gather around the table, which is actually perfect for my kitchen because I'm collecting little by little farmhouse. I already have coffee stuff in my kitchen. I do want to mix it up with um, farmhouse coffee and I don't know if I would throw any apples in there that might be too much but um but I love these um frames with sayings on them and you guys already seen these but they bring them back again because they were out for a little while at my store which is the little farmhouse with galvanized picture frames with the clips on it so they still have them around um they've always had different types this is what little um display easels but I've never seen the little metal ones and I grab four of these because sometimes like if I do like a get together, a party, depending on what I'm doing, I use these to put like um, certain decor up. It all depends or maybe like pictures, whatever the case is. I don't know. I use certain things for different ways instead of exactly what others will use it for. Um, I don't know if you guys keep an eye on the book section. I mean, I know I do. I've gotten lucky throughout the years where I found a lot of arts and crafts books, decorating, sewing, knitting, things like that. And also, you know, for cooking, but I found, this is like my third book actually, on cakes. And this one is the elegant lace cakes that they have. This one is by who? By Zoe Clark. It has over 25 contemporary and delicate cake decorating designs for those who um are thinking and looking for um maybe cake decorating or either want to start or already are doing it and are looking for some more inspiration i actually collect these because i do um tend to in the future you know want to dab in with the cakes also so who knows um also um well, these came out a little while ago. I mean, this year, from what I've seen, but I've grabbed two of them. They had another different type, but I like this one better for my window and one for my kitchen. I'm trying to throw in a little bit of Halloween in my kitchen. I usually don't spread a lot of this stuff around the house, but, you know, just little bits and pieces. Now, these things, you guys, great, they're stuck. You guys already seen these. They had the smaller version. This is the bigger version. This is a jumbo pencil cup. I have the small ones and I found the big ones. The big ones they didn't have before. So when I saw them, I grabbed them, which I don't know exactly yet what I'm going to do with them, but I'm pretty sure I'll find um, some project, you know, something to do with it besides putting pencils in it. And 
another thing which I thought was so cute, which I will be using, which I have an upcoming DIY that I'm going to do with these, are the Christmas ornaments they came out with now, the little music notes. Um, yeah, it's not going to stay gold and glittery um, as you see it right now, but um, when I get through to it, you'll see how nice it's going to be with the DIY that I have for it. But they have that type. They have this kind. Um, what else is the other one? The cute trumpets. And they also have like um, these other melodies. And what is the other thing? I got a, a little bit of all of them. Like I said, some of them I'm going to sand down to take the glitter out and spray paint it a different color to put on my tree. And some is actually going to be um, home decor, which you'll see when I do my DIY. And these are the, I think the trombone or something, which is really cute. And then we also have the violins. Yeah, I thought these were cute. So like I said, you don't have to use these necessarily for just Christmas decorating. I'm going to show you guys when I do my DIY exactly, which you can probably do with them for home decorating. And I also bought this just for my door handle for um, in front of the door. I'm actually going to go with a more traditional style this year for my Christmas decorating outdoors. I usually have like a more... Um, it's not a gold, it's like a, I don't know, like a silvery copper. I don't even know how to explain it, but it's like a nice, elegant color that um, and a theme that I do outside. But I actually want to change it up a bit this year. But this will be going on my door. It'll be one of the things. And this, which I actually put in a sandwich bag because I don't want the smell to go away. I didn't find any more, but they were selling these, the scented pine cones in Dollar Tree which smells really strong apple cinnamon which um i was really surprised when i found it, it was like the, the last one and i went to a few different dollar trees and they didn't have any so i got lucky at least with one so i was hoping they would have bring out more so i keep it in the sandwich bag just to preserve the scent which i haven't put this out yet i have yet to decorate in my living room for the fall or my window you know i decorated the front of my house really cute and I've got to decorate my door and all kinds of stuff outside. You know, everything becomes a project for me when I do things. Um, I was actually uh, doing a Sweet 16 dress for someone. And, um, yeah, that's why I didn't finish my window and, you know, decorating inside the house. But then the next thing I got in Dollar Tree, which I thought is cute. I mean, I'm late with it. But it really don't matter. I don't care. Um, they do have... I collect a lot of wood crafts. I have a little bit of everything in my craft room. I do jewelry. I do uh, wood crafting. I do greeting, homemade greeting cards. I sew different things. I crochet. I... Um, Man, I do a lot of stuff, even woodworking. I mean, I have like my power tools and things like that downstairs. I have so much stuff, it's not even funny. But um, they had the gingerbread man, which I thought was really cute for Christmas, which I wanted to give it a nice um, design and look and paint with this little guy. Um, some of these will be going on my refrigerator, like magnets. I'll probably put a magnets behind them. I got three of those. And... I thought these were stinking cute. I got three of each. They have the um, the sugar skulls, the, the woodcraft ones. I don't know. Some of the Dollar Trees that I went to didn't have these. And one of them where, where I live at um, had them. So I had grabbed a few of them. Like I said, three of these, which is the female sugar skull, which is really cute. Um, some of your stores might have it. Some might not. And this is the male one with the hat, which is really cute. I grabbed three of them. I think it's adorable. Um, you know, it's kind of hard when I go around shopping. I've noticed that other Dollar Trees in different states have more stuff than the ones here in Philadelphia, which kind of, like, makes me upset. 
because I am a fan of Dollar Tree, but they don't bring in everything like the other Dollar Trees in other states. So it's like we're left out on a lot of other good things, which is like really annoying because I'm such a fan of Dollar Tree and I love shopping in it. Now, one of my other... Well, I didn't do too much in this store, but I thought it was really cute and I wanted to show it. I went to Dollar Zone, which, by the way, if I was, like, decorating for Halloween or doing a Halloween party, I seriously would have really got my, my Halloween decorating on with a lot of the stuff that Dollar Zone had. They had a lot of cute stuff. Um, but they had these kitchen towels. This one says, eat, drink, and be thankful. This is more of, like, a for fall and Thanksgiving. So I picked up two of these. And I was going through every Dollar Tree trying to look for Halloween towels with the cat and stuff and the saying, and I didn't find anything. I was like hopping from Dollar Tree to Dollar Tree, and I'm like, well, I guess I'm never going to find it. But in Dollar Zone, I also found these Halloween ones with like the little scrolly look um, and pumpkins and bats and stuff like that, which I thought this was cute. I grabbed two of these also. Um, I'm hoping um, Dollar Zone do be bringing a lot of cute things in also. And I hope that they also bring a lot of stuff. But I've noticed that lately, like their toy section and some of the wood crafts and other things are now like $2, which really sucks. Because I don't like going into a dollar store and paying more than a dollar for each item. It's called a dollar store for a reason. So, but anyway. <clears throat> and then, this is not much. I got these things from Dollar General. They did have the metal sleigh. I lucked out on it <clears throat> because they went fast and um, they had just different types of things but um, I did bought some of these metal galvanized um, like the little Christmas tree that says peace which like I said my, um, my outdoor decor for Christmas is going to be based on the buffalo check and the green and white and stuff like that like <clears throat> or maybe some gold and with a little uh, with, what they're called, the little, the little red cherry, um, I forgot what those things are called. And then they had this other snow, um, galvanized. I got a few of both. Um, I'm kind of a little sad because I didn't see the other stuff. I did ask, um, Dollar Zone if they had more stuff coming in in stock. And they said, yeah, that, you know, by this week and everything should be out. They do have more stuff. And they also had this ribbon for a dollar at Je Dollar General, um, the, little buffalo check red and black which i thought was really cute uh yeah like a lot of stuff goes really fast in dollar general they have cute stuff there too um one of the other things that i've gotten which i thought was really adorable and i've grabbed like two of one thing and one of the other uh i did See one of the uh, other YouTubers had these, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, I gotta get myself one of these." Um, they had these for five bucks in in Target, and I grabbed two of them, which I gotta do some touch up things a little bit scratch. But um, these are little, you know, shutters, little square shutters, which I thought was really cute to put anywhere in the home. I mean, I have my spot where I know I'm gonna put these at my bedroom. They had these along with um, the cute little window pane, which was also $5 in their, their Target dollar spot. Um, you know, some things, I find other people buy things at the at Target, but sometimes it all depends what Target you go to, because sometimes when I go to certain Targets, I don't always find everything everybody else finds, and it's just, like, really upsetting. But this is, like, the little window pane that they had also. So, imagine between, between the window pane in the middle and this on the side, one on each. And I am going to have, like, um, a really nice uh, decorative design in the window that's going to show. It's not just going to be clear. And then I also bought these cute little things they had in Target for a dollar, which I'll be hanging in the kitchen and wherever else. Um, yeah, it says established 1692 Raven's Claw in Open Daily, which is like a little um, thin wood like in the front with wood grain. And the back is actually like, you know, like that compressed cord cardboard, but it's really cute for a dollar. 
I thought it was adorable, so I grabbed two. So, yeah, that was it for my little shopping haul. Wasn't as much as I would like it to be. Um, it's kind of hard to get certain things. It all depends on the stores and what they bring and how fast it stays. I mean, how long it stays and how fast it goes. So, for me, because I don't have a car, I mean, I am going to have a car really soon, but it can't get here any soon enough. It's annoying. Um, once I get it, uh, you best believe that I'll be running to every store like that to get everything I want and need. Um, I hope you guys really liked what I, you know, shown you today. And, um, stay tuned for my, my next video, which will be, um, a DIY with those little music notes. Uh, I hope you guys like that one. I think it's going to turn out really cute. I actually have, uh, two DIYs in one video with those music notes, which is like, you know, for decorating for the home. Some people might like it for their room. Some might want to put it for their living room or wherever the heck you might want to put it. But, um, yeah, so if you like the stuff that I've shown you today, just give my video a thumbs up, um, leave a comment. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for the next video. Bye.